Well, hi, hi, baby. What's up, friend? How you doing? You broadcasting from the car today? I just went and got my hair washed because it was a mess. So, yeah. <laughs> That's because you be working out. See, I don't have that problem. <laughs> so, I see what you're talking about. You know what I hate? Everyone can have a comment about people. When I say something, people get mad at me, and I don't know why. But I'm going to still keep doing my thing and talking. Um, what, what I said was, um, I, I, I agree. I don't think Chris Rock knew about the alopecia. I think he made a bald-headed joke because she's been wearing a hair ball like that for a reason, for a while. And um, my brother has alopecia. It doesn't look like Jadis. My brother's is extremely severe where he has no eyebrows and it's blocky spots all over his head. And so I, this is close to my heart. You know, my brother has it. Uh, Jadis doesn't look like that. So the average person might not, that doesn't follow Jada might not know. And I just don't think, honestly, I feel like people are, like, no one's even asking how Chris is doing in this. He got the shit slapped out of embarrassed, and he's a comedian that was hired to do that. And I said that. I said he didn't even do like this. He didn't even do like that. He took that shit like a G. Now, he might have went backstage. We don't know what, and there was. But he, he, he took it, you know, and was able to continue on with the show, which is his job. I would have been crying. If someone like the, the from the not the slap but the humiliation, and then I heard, and I'm not sure. I'm trying to find out about this. That that Chris went over that joke in rehearsal, and Will was there and heard it. Claudia, he laughed when he said it. Yeah. Then he cut away. Then you know we know about edits. The camera cut away. At first, it showed Jada rolling her eyes. But at the time she was rolling her eyes, Will was laughing. That's but plus I also told them, Chris, that that tribe of writers that they have for that thing, the cameramen, everybody in there knew that joke was coming. Everybody. That that wasn't off the cuff. And 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 if and if everybody in there don't follow Jade and them, which I don't believe that everybody in there don't. But I don't even follow Jada Pinkett Smith. I like her and all that. Never met her. I, I just don't follow her. I'm not in that deep. I've seen some Red Table Talks. I don't subscribe. I don't see them all. I got other shit to do. But I, I, if, if nobody said nothing, then the joke was going to fly, which it did. If somebody knew and didn't say anything, maybe that's not their job to go to the writers and talk to the director and like that. There may be a grip. There may be the... And, you know, to say, hey, you guys, just want to let you know, you know, Jada's got alopecia. Maybe you shouldn't do that joke. I mean, like, get your black ass back out on the floor and do your fucking job, right? So a lot of people knew that joke was coming. And Will laughed at that joke. But as I'm saying, when they cut away, something happened. And, you know, Jada might have leaned over to Will and said, you just going to let that motherfucker say that about me? Yeah. And I told him also, I said, there's many a brother laying in the grave right now because some girl said, you gonna let him get away with that shit? You're not gonna do anything? You know, and in the heat of the moment, I mean, you know. I didn't think the joke was that bad. And again, I don't have alopecia. So, you know what I mean? So I'm trying to be thoughtful about that. I think that, you know, up until the past couple of years, Will and Jada's business, they were, they're black royalty, Hollywood royalty. No one knew anything about their business. Then the August Alcina stuff came out and people started, and then they started telling us everything. So they're in a position now where they are, material for comedians they are because of themselves because of them coming out and talking about it so then people make a joke about things i think will is not used to being criticized he's the guy everybody loves and this past year probably has been tough on him people question his masculinity and i feel i feel for him i think will's one of the nicest people in the, on earth actually and i just feel like that's that moment was not about chris rock i think it's about all the other jokes talk that everybody else been doing. Yeah, somebody and, else said that too, that he has a lot of build up. Oh well, I got a lot of build up. All black people got a lot of build up. I'm but, not, uh, this just this far under our skin. Our skin is very, very thin. We have so many things to be upset about. Where would we be if they hadn't burned down Black Wall Street? What about the white boy who went into church and killed uh, killed your grandma on them? The, what about our people who had their kids drug from their motherfucking hand and sold it, sold it, or they threw their own kids in the river because they'd rather have them die than be a slave. What about our people have P, what is it? P -T -S -S yeah, our people got that. And it don't take a lot to trigger a motherfucker at any given time. 
the nicest person, even you. If you know you've been, you, you <laughs> I don't know why. I've been knowing you for years, like you the motherfucking day I met you. We are like this. People don't even know how close we are. But they continuously get on your dick about every motherfucking thing and not realize that you're one of the most intelligent, well-read, statistical, physically fit, and all this to work at it. And they don't know nothing about about that. And they, they drag you. You got to have thick skin, and everybody can get it. So I'm sure that will, like you said, is not used to being criticized a lot outside the home. But at home, you know, you know, they got a little weird dynamic going on up there. Now, it's bad because they, they, they kids, you know, like I said earlier, people talk, Willow, oh, my God, your dad last night. Jaden, what, what happened to your dad last night? And then all the kids that was watching the movie that got inspired from the movie to think, I can't, I can't, I can't. And then, I mean, that was like finding out that Pee Wee Herman jacks off in the movie theater. Remember when that came out? Yeah. yeah that, it, people you know are I, not good. Go ahead. Will Smith won an Oscar last night. A couple years ago, we couldn't even get nominated. And it was a very pro, it was a great moment for black people. Will Packer produced the Oscars and all this- Three women, black three women hosted this shit. Three women and two of them black. A uh, deaf person won last night. A lesbian won last night. Latina. Motherfucking Asians won last night. It was the most diverse thing we had. And ain't nobody talking about nothing that is talking about the slap. So that's what fucked up. It fucked. I, I, and Will, I know Will Packer's like, God damn. Yeah. Damn. And 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 people, I see people online. Oh, why do we care about what what we do in front of white people? Listen, it ain't just white people watching. It's young black kids, and people are gonna think, Oh, you disrespect me? I'm gonna slap the fuck out of you. It's okay. Uh, I remember back. I feel like we've gotten weak. Back in the day, your character was built being black by playing the dozens, talking shit, and you would have to come back with something just as quick. And you wouldn't fight. If you fought, you was pussy. If you came back with your words, oh, shit, you got them. Everyone right. now is, like, so ready to blow up the whole school and shoot up a school and just go postal because of words, right? I think, I, I just think we, we, we're just so, we pussy as a society right now. We are. Excuse my language. But it didn't call for that. It called for him to go, yo, my brother. Let me holler at you real quick with some bass in your voice. He could but even holler that. He could even holler that. So I want to holler at you backstage. For, he could even holler that. That might would have got a laugh. That he might have been serious. But yeah, he. I mean, he was wrong. It hurts to even say it. Will, you was wrong. He was wrong, bro. And now that done fucked us up. I don't think that we're going to go back to, look how those savage niggas act in the awards. We're going to keep it white. It's white. We're going to get. I don't think it's going to go back to that. But, you know, and I really, like you said, I feel bad for Will Packer, too. Uh, and someone said this, and um, uh, someone said about when people making all the jokes about the trans community, how they were just told it's just, you know, we pick and choose what we're mad at, depending on the week. Yeah. Some hate to talk shit about black women, make the stallion and others. And then it's like, you know, th then it's not, then it's protect black women. Some days it's like, just, just get over it. It's a joke. We, we are very much a bandwagon society, and whatever the cause is that week is what we all collect get angry about. Okay? We pick and choose. It's all over. Am I trans? No, I'm not trans. Suck a dick. How about that? Um, so, why do y'all come for me? I, I don't take no one's man. I don't bother nobody. I make my own money. I give other people jobs. I got real friendships. I don't know why people come. If anyone has reasons. No, you know what? You, you want to know what ruined your career? Real housewives. Of Atlanta. You were too good for it. You never should have been bothered with it. Plus, I said earlier, they let women fight on TV all the time. Nobody give a fuck. They let women throw glasses at each other, pull their fucking weeds out, pull their titties out, even on the schoolyard. Nobody stops women from fighting. Nobody gives a fuck. Now, at the Oscars, if a woman had to slap a woman, that would have been an issue, too, because it's where it was and stuff like that. And you, can't, you couldn't have got a bigger platform in the world to do that. You could have done that on CNN and would not as many people seen it as seen last night. So it's a bad situation. I don't know why people talk with you, though, Claudia. I love you to death. They're, they're, off, they're supposedly considering taking the Oscar from Bill. There's some reports about that. Now, the Oscars are like, we may, you may not be able to keep that Oscar because they don't condone this. And I'm like, wow. Oh, yeah, I thought about that, too. I thought about that, too. I said, because they 
couldn't very well. It's like when Whitney passed in the hotel where they were, where, where uh, you know, they were going to have oh, the, that, yeah. that, that they the couldn't happened. stop, they couldn't stop the train, you know, they couldn't stop the, 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 the dinner, the, the party from going on, even though she was upstairs dead. They couldn't stop and rewrite and rejig the Oscars at that moment. Mm -hmm. But I did think about that they, they might they might take that 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 award away from that man, even though because you know um, when um, when people fuck up sometimes they they have taken uh, like the plaques down or or like they did for you know the races that the schools named this or the baseball team was named that and all that they try to fix that and you know I mean he should have he should have really thought that one through. I don't. I don't have nothing to say about whether they take it away from or not. But I would not be surprised, because even it's just like Paul, the late Paul Mooney used to say, "You gonna fuck around and get your nigga wake up call, and you a nigga too." And just like they put you up on there, they can check it down right up in front of you. I wouldn't be surprised if they recap that. Wouldn't be surprised. It would suck because we're not even America's talking. America's favorite boy, America's favorite boy. Now, what if? Some of the other shit we've heard about will come out. What about that now? I'm about to be on Beyonce internet, getting me in trouble. I'll be canceled every six months, so I'm just gonna. Yeah, drink. you don't have to say you don't have to say nothing. I'm not going into the hearsay, but I'm just saying people ain't who we think they are, and. If they really want to dig and they want to tear that boy down because he's so high up, he's he's in a position to be drugged back down. You know, they build you up. To he's been up and stayed up for so long. You know, you know, this could open up a hole. <laughs> How you doing, Lunell? How are you? How you doing? How you doing? I'm Are fine. Y'all need to let me. Uh, y'all need to let me um, fill in when one of y'all cocktailing queens is unavailable. Oh, we need to have you come back. Is that a joint? A blunt? It is. Oh uh, yeah. I don't smoke <laughs> cigarettes. I'm in Texas, so it's still illegal here. Whatever. Well, I'm in LA, and you can blow smoke in the police face out here. Now you may still get your ass whooped, but it is legal. Hey, oh, I, I sent you with a uh, Nipsey, a throwback. I know I you saw, really. I saw it. Unbelievable. Yeah. That was unbelievable. So years yeah, ago. So today is, what is today? Today is what? Uh, is today the 28th? I think so. In three days, it'll be three years. Wow. In three days, the March 31st, it'll be three, three years. So, to all your followers, what we're talking about, I, um, years ago, I used to work with a photographer, a black uh, man from Barbados. His name is Dex Brown, and he lives um, uh, off Slauson and Rimpow, he used to, down that, around the area. And super dope photographer, and I would go there and have it done. And years later, like, I, like a few years ago, someone sent me a throwback. And said, you know, Nipsey was a my fo photo assistant on your shoot. So I got a picture of Nipsey. The I'm holding, the, holding the thing. A lot. Yeah. Wow. Like, and they said he just came and he was just soaking up all the info. He wanted to learn about photography. He was kind and respectful. And that he wanted to work on my shoot. Years later, like, I don't even think he would know who I am. Years later, he comes on the Foxhole with Jamie Foxx. And we interviewed him at the beginning of his career. And I remember saying, yo, he just had something special about him. Like like Snoop, but just a little bit different. And then towards the end in 2018, he was on the wrong road. And no, we easily found that. Like, I didn't know you interviewed him. I'm like, yeah, man. And beginning and, and just such a... Uh, <laughs> yeah, we lost a good one with that one. It's got to be, you know, I'm glad that we mentioned that. I'll just show you this real quick, though. And show you, because, you know, I'm off. Slauson as well, and uh, yeah, nice. I have that here in the house, and Very I also nice. have. Um, let me see. 
this from way back when he first came out with that album and it's autographed too. Let's see, Hustle. Much love. Wow. Always. Love it. We had CDs in the same record store over here in, in the district. So anyway, well, thanks for tapping in, Claudia. Always. And, Anytime um, you were saying they're commenting about when you said that Housewives ruined my career, your career is not. They're like, this is my girl. We've had conversations about it. It was, it, it hurt me. It helped me. It hurt me at the same time. It made me a lot more famous. Like, I'd be on planes and the pilot be like, oh, white man. Be like, oh, my wife loves you. But it also, it was very negative. And before that, I didn't have any negative press like that. You know what I mean? It yeah, no, happy. nobody was, nobody was doing that to you before there. And Never. it was very toxic. And it hurt me badly. And I'm glad you only gave one season and you, and you had me on in the storyline. And, you know, I was in and out. <laughs> that was real quick. And, um... It just uh, that hurt me. You, it hurts to see your friend go through shit like that. I don't give a fuck what they say about you. They talk about Jesus too, but you got a writer over here in the Crenshaw district that will always ride for you. I ain't gonna be over here much longer either, though. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to well, do house got... next year. Fuck that. I, I love I, you. you uh, um, I'm talking to you about that too. Okay, take care, baby. Love you. Bye. Bye.